Hello, hey. hello, hello! Hey. Welcome to the Art Sippers Experience hey, Show. Sippers. How is everyone doing? <laughs> Hope you're all good. <laughs> See all your comments. My name is Elliot Naughty. And I'm Josie Pitcher. And together we are Naughty, Naughty Pitcher. Pitcher. Yes. <laughs> Quite easy to remember. It's a great name. So Naughty is in Naughty. Pitcher as in like the jug of cocktails. And Art Sippers sip, bring you sip. art and a cheeky sip. Cheeky sip. So we today we're sipping today. some news eye. Right, guys, what are you sipping? Let us know what you're sipping on. Let us know in the comments. comments. What are you sipping? It could be alcoholic, non-alcoholic. We just want to know that you're sipping along with us yeah. because we have a special little tool that we have in Art Sippers. What is it, Jojo? The sipping the bell. The sipping bell. <laughs> so every time you hear this little bell, that means you need to have a sip. Sip, no sip. questions asked. Sip, sip, hooray. Yes. And that's okay if you're drinking tea at home or juice if you're drinking juice. Exactly. Um, but yeah, sipping cocktails, anything like that, have a little It's sip. just to give you a bit of perspective and just enough time yeah. to relax, have a pause, and look at your art sometimes. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's needed. It's definitely needed. It's definitely needed. Definitely needed. So before lockdown, guys, um, we were doing this in pubs and bars around we were. London. So we're a creative couple. Yep. And London was our base. Yes, it but was. Pubs and bars aren't open anymore. No, they kind of are open now. They kind of are. But we, we haven't jumped back into them events yet. We've changed it all to a virtual for now. So we're doing a collaboration with the Natural History Museum. Yay. Come on, it's a celebration. It's a great <laughs> celebration. And yeah, so in pubs and bars we were doing it and now we're doing a lovely collaboration with Natural History Museum and we're painting what are we painting? Ross and Rex. The Ross and Rex. Who doesn't like dinosaurs? We're going to take you doesn't? step by step through this, guys. Step by step. Yep. So you're going to be able to be able to create something very, very similar to this. Exactly. So we're going to make sure you go home with some more worthy art. Don't worry if you haven't painted before. Don't worry if you're a complete amateur. No, it's we totally fine. We'll look after you. You're in good hands. Yes, I hope so. <laughs> so let's, so take, let's take through the, the tools. tools. Let's do it. Um, first tools. off, I do um, usually paint. We usually paint in our art surface colours, which are blues and pinks and yellows. Uh, and it's totally okay if you want to paint in different colours at home. So you wanted to do a green T Rex or an orange T Rex, and you just wanted to go completely different. Mix it up. You don't guys. have to paint a pink T Rex today. You can paint something different. Um, so have a little look at our little colour wheel. These are complementary colours. So the colours opposite on the complementary wheel will really pop against each other. So say you wanted to paint a purple T-Rex, yellow would be really good as Purple's a background. Um, or blue, so you wanted to paint a blue T-Rex. Orange would be a really good background. These ones are really, really pop. And also if you wanted to say um, paint an orange T-Rex, to get the lighter colours and the darker colours, you need to add yellow for lighter. Can you see it's got a bit lighter there? or red to go darker. So have a little little look at this complementary colour wheel. There we go. And have a little um, think about what colour you would want to paint your T-Rex in. There we go. So the other tools we're going to need today are... We've got three paint brushes. Oh! We've got the big brush. The big brush? <laughs> <laughs> Which is a big flat brush. We'll be using this for the background. Uh, and larger areas, especially some of these expressive um, brush strokes, we're going to be using that big brush. We then have a medium brush, which is a round little filbert. Can you see it's got a rounded edge there? So grab your filbert if you've got one. Love a little cheeky A medium-sized brush of any brush um, type is okay. And then we've got a small detail brush, which we're going to be using this side and this side for the, the small brush. Ooh. All my paints come off this brush. We use it quite a lot. But yes, three brushes, really good to use, a big, medium and small. Grab yourself a little pencil to sketch if you can. I've got some paper towel to dab off any excess paint and water. I've got some water. Yes, this is really important guys, grab some water, yeah. but be careful not to sip uh -uh, from your <laughs> mixing water. We don't want anyone to be sipping on paint juice. No. It it's happens a lot. It happens or at some least. Some people dip their brush into their drink. That's true. That's annoying. Don't dip your paint in your sip. You want to enjoy it. You don't want to paint drink. It's not a thing. And remember, guys, another great tool we always advocate you guys have is Ooh, some baby wipes. Baby wipes. If you guys can grab some baby wipes, these are always handy. Not only do they get paint off your fingers, but if you have any little bits of mistakes that you want to quickly rub off your canvas, yeah. these are like a miracle. That's how. 
Yeah. It's the really best. Really You just quickly wipe off that mistake. Like it never happened. It but even though there was no mistakes in the game. No, no, no. Go with the flow. Have some fun. <laughs> this is a fun class. It's yes. a serious art class. Of course, you might learn a couple of things. And um, we want this to be really chilled and fun for you guys. So we've got some acrylic paints. I'm using acrylic paints. You can use pens, pencils. Uh, you can use an iPad or something like that if you wanted to create digitally. Digitally. Um, <laughs> uh, but these are the colors I've chose today. So I've got um, some black, some yellow, some white. I've got quite a lot of white, as you can see there. I love white. Always handy. I've got some cerulean blue, ultramarine blue. So that's a light and a dark blue. And I've also gone for a couple of pinks. As I said, we do the Art Sippers paintings in pinks, yellows, blues a lot of the time. Um, but you guys could have uh, red there instead, the other prime colour. Mix it up. Mix up. I guys. like to use pink because I do find that um, a lot of the colours come, come, like, come out really vibrant if they use pink. So I'm using pink today. These are the acrylic paints. And that's all my tools as well as the sip. Loving that, guys. So... Is everyone excited for today? Is everybody excited? I'm fully excited. Cool, so we're going to take you to the competition wall. Guys, are you ready? Are you Here ready to see the competition the wall? Let's do it. Da, da, yes! Da. Look at that. As if by magic, we've jumped across <laughs> the studio. Studio is literally our front living room. So right now we're in our flat. And this is the competition wall, guys. So during the Art Sippers class, we're going to tell you some RT facts. Yes, artifacts. Do you like that pun? That's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be telling you some puns and we're going to tell you some dad related dinosaur jokes. Yes, you heard me correctly. Dad related dinosaur jokes. Who doesn't like that? And you guys can win some prizes. When I tell you these jokes, I want you guys to answer in the comments. And the first person who gets them right, their name goes on this high tech board. Yes. And if your name goes on the board, <laughs> we'll put your name into a hat. And at the end of the show, we will put out three names and you can win some prizes. Yes, some amazing prizes. I'm going to tell you what prizes you can win today. Okay, so the third prize is going to be... Two tickets. Two. The Wildlife Photographer <laughs> of the Year. Exhibition. So that's at the Natural History Museum. It'll be amazing. That's going to be happening. And the second prize is two tickets to... This is the <laughs> Art Sippers Experience Show. So like I said, we do these events in bars and pubs around London. And when we get going again, these will be coming to use. Great date oh, night. Yeah. It's great mate night. It's a great entertaining experience. So that's the second prize. But the first prize, the top prize for tonight, is two tickets to the Silent Disco All Yoga event at the Natural History Museum. If you know that they create these amazing late events and they are sellouts. So the Silent Disco All Year Oak event, you can choose whichever one you want to do. They're the prize for tonight. Three prizes up for grabs. So make sure that you answer my dad related jokes in the comments as quick as possible. So if you're on Facebook or YouTube, answer those quickly and you'll be in with a chance to win. We do have someone behind the scenes figuring out who's the winner. So <laughs> yes, we're, not, we we're not able to control that part. We've got someone disclaimer. who's really, really finding out who the first person And was also, with that disclaimer, you have to be in the UK yes. to join in with the competition. If you're outside the UK, that's totally fine. You can try and pass your prize on to someone in the UK. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, we can only send the prizes uh, to you. And these prizes are so good. Guess what? what? You can donate to the Natural History Museum to keep them going. Yeah. The Natural History Museum is a charity yeah. and they rely on your goodness, your good generosity to yeah. keep this amazing institution going. They, they've had so, their doors closed for quite a while now. When are they, they have. opening? They're so opening you know soon, guys. Cheeky little secret, they're going to be opening again on the 5th of August. Ooh. So it's going to be a few people at a time, but on the 5th of August, they're going to reopen their doors. But if you want to donate to them to keep them going, yes. NHM.ac.uk forward slash, I don't know if it is, donate. <laughs> and you can donate to the Natural History Museum to make sure that they keep going on again. This is the competition wall. I'm going to take you back to the main. Let's do it. Like by magic. Look at that. <laughs> so as we were saying earlier, guys, this is a, supposed to be a really fun, kind of chilled, uh, relaxed art show. And we don't want you to take yourself too seriously on nope. this one. We want you to relax, have a good time. Um, there, we do have one rule. Oh, important rule. this is the most important rule. 
ever. This so, is the only thing we take seriously. This is the only thing. At Art Sippers, we have one rule, one rule. What's that, Joe? No judgment. Oh, let's say it again for the people in the back. No judgment. No judgment. That's not judging anyone else's work. So if mm -hmm. you're with friends and family at home, flatmates, uh, if you're Zoom calling anyone yep. at the same time, <laughs> no laughing at their work, no. no judging their work. You don't understand their point of view. So can't laugh at it. Oh, it's subjective. <laughs> we so want you to feel comfortable and confident to express yourself on exactly. the canvas. And a important thing, Go no on. judging yourself either. That's the game That's changer. That's what we all do. Usually. That's so true. So we no want judging. you guys to just feel relaxed, feel calm, to do everything you can do to have fun. Yes. And we know that no judgment means that you can relax in the safety, knowing that you're in good hands. No one's yeah. going to worry you. So with that, we're going to have a little mindful moment. We are. Let's do it. Let's do it. Mindful moment with Eddie. So now all friends, we're all on the same wavelength. Art is another form of mindfulness and meditation. And this gets you into the zone. Before you create, I want you to feel calm. I want you to feel peaceful. And I want you to feel present in the moment. So at all of our classes, we always have a little breathing exercise just so that you guys can focus on creating your masterpiece. But before that, I'd like everyone in the room, if you're here with me right now, to close your eyes. I said it, guys. Let's close our eyes. Three, two, one, close. There we go. It's a safe space. Nothing bad's gonna happen. And when you've got your eyes closed, I would like to just put your right hand on your heart and your left hand on your stomach. And then whilst you're doing that, I would like you to think of something that makes you smile. Think of someone or something that you're in love with. It could be a place, it could be a person, it could be anything that you like. And when you've got that on your mind, I want you to just smile. Think of that place, that person, and let that bring you joy. Let that bring all those happy endorphins rising to the top. And once you've got that, we take a deep breath in through your nose. One, two, three. And then let's exhale through the mouth. We're all together on this one, guys. So let's breathe in one more time. Breathe in that positivity. And then exhale through the mouth. And then last time, sippers, let's do this. One, two, three, in through your nose. And then exhale through the mouth. And hopefully, we can all open our eyes on three, two, one. Look at that. Do you guys feel zen? Do you feel excited? You are ready to create. So you have no stresses. You have no worries. This is now the perfect time to express yourself on the cameras. Let's do it, Jojo. Grab your pencil. Let's do it. Elliot, do you want to go in with a quick joke? Just getting started. Okay, first joke, straight in. We're not playing about. <laughs> Guys, first question. Whoever gets this first goes on the board. If you can go on the board, you can win some prizes. Ooh. So, question is, what do you call a nervous dinosaur? Oh, first question. Answer quickly, guys, and your name will go on the board. Let's do this. Nervous dinosaur. Okay, what I need you guys to do to start with is just to separate your canvas. So that can be a piece of paper or a piece of cardboard um, or a canvas if you're using one. And just split it in half down the middle vertically and horizontally. So I'm doing it in pencil here and I'm going to be doing it quite hard so that you guys can see at home. But you guys don't have to do it as thick and as dark as me. If you can try and keep it quite light. That would be great. So one down the middle this way, and then one across the middle this way. Thank you for joining us today, guys. We We've really got appreciate some you. amazing people joining us today. We've got some old tippers. If it's your first time, write first timer in the comments. We'll love to know if this is your first time to a virtual art sippers experience. Oh, we've got a lot of answers coming in. I can see them coming in. Love it. Okay, so we've got our canvas split up. I will be working pretty fast if you can try and keep up, but let me know if I am going a bit too fast. I can see your comments, so I can always take a pause. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a big rectangle. So I like to break it down into easy shapes for you and wiggly lines and stuff like that so that you can all do it. Ages from, I don't know, about five years old could probably do this. We have all ages join us at Art Sippers. So yeah, we want to make sure you guys can break it down and make your masterpiece. Exactly that. So I'm going to do a rectangle and it's going to be in this lower half of the canvas. Um, and you're going to come in a little bit this way and you're going to come in a little bit this way. It's going to be about an equal amount. So come in here and here and then you're going to bring it down. Not all the way to the bottom. I'm just gonna come across here. So once I do it, I can show you where it is. So 
So I'm going to do it quite thick again. You got a lot of first timers in today. Hello, new sippers. Hello, Lisa Greenhay. We see you. We see Gary McAnally today. Hey, Gary. We got Jody in today. It's her first time. And hello, Victoria Robinson. We see the first timers. Hello, hello, guys. So can you see my big rectangle here? Comes in a bit here. It comes in a bit from the bottom, and it comes in a bit on the side. And we're gonna, and the top part of that is the middle line of that canvas. So let's do that rectangle there. So we say that all the art sippers are called sippers. Yes. So if Anyone you're new, a sip, sip. you're a sipper. So welcome to the sippers family. And on that note, that's your first sipping bell, guys. Make sure you have a little sip. This is going to be the base for the um, the body of the T Rex, the main the main body part. Now, can you see um, see where the midway line is here and the edge of the um, rectangle here? If you can just split this one up as well for me, it's just going to help with some markers. So you're not really going to understand why this is there, but you'll understand in a second. Okay, you've done that line there. Then what you want you to do with that line that you've just done? The top of it, come up a little bit and do a dot because we're going to do another kind of rectangle square here. I want it more square this time. So do another square, and this is going to be the basis of the head. Ooh. So, can you see this square here is the same as this bit here, right directly above it? So, you want it directly, you want them in line really. But you've left a gap there. The neck's going to be in that bit. So two rectangles, one big rectangle, and then a smaller rectangle, slight square. I don't know if they're equal. Probably not exactly equal. We've got a lot of first timers in today. We've got Victoria Robinson saying she loves drawing dinosaurs, but I'm not very good. So I'm excited to learn a technique to get better. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine, do guys. This today. Can you see? Can you see these? So they've got one there, and we've got one there. And these are the main squares we're going to be working in. So what I'm going to do quickly, and I'm going to rub out this middle line from this box just to help you guys at home, because it's not going to be easy having this line here. That's it. Make sure you get a rubber as well. Isn't that a great little tool to have? Oh, yeah. Oh, I never say that, but a rubber is really handy. <laughs> a rubber is a great little tool to have. Josie, okay. guess what? What? We got people from Australia with Yay. us today. How amazing is that? Hello, Rebecca Milson. Hello, Australia. Guys, where are you tuning in from today? Let us know. We're based in London. So me and Josie are based in London, UK. Where are you today? Let yes, us know. No. So what we're going to do, you see this um, little rectangle here? We're going to separate that like we did with our canvas in half and half again. So cross right through the middle. It's going to be the head. Hopefully I'm not going too fast. Hi from India. Well, hey, that deserves a sip sip. We love Hello. India. Satish Mathur Gopal. Hello. Yeah, we've been to Satish India. Columbia. Oh, everyone's from all over. All over. Love it. Hello from Malta. Malta. Hello, Denise. Mexico. Our sippers are going That's international it. today. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, let's start on this face. So we've split our square in half and half again. It's time to do that top jawline. So, Elliot, do you mind on this quickly? Let's do it. Let's get the close up. Here we go. So, we're going to do this top jaw here. So, we're going to, can you see how it goes into a little bit of a V shape and then a U shape? And we've got the nose. You can see under here as well, we've got the V shape and we've got a slight semi kind of U shape and then we've got the chin. Love it. We're going to do that now. You're going to do this, guys. Using this marker. So you see this middle line here? What we're going to do is we're going to do that V shape just underneath it from this side to this side. And we're going to do a slight V shape like this. My pencil's a bit sharp today. You've got a sharp pencil. It's a great thing. Go through the canvas. Yeah, don't stab your canvas, guys. <laughs> don't want to do that now. Right, we've got our V shape. So it's not like a really deep V, it's flattened V slightly. Little point. Hopefully you all where I am right Hello, now. Hello, Melanie Duncan from Otoa. I hope I'm saying that right. Amanda Staples in the room. Hello. 
We got people from Mauritius, Josie. How amazing Yay. is that? Like I said, this is going to be for all ages today. And we want you guys to just get creative. We're going to do that U shape now. So it's going to go from this side to this side. So from the middle all the way to the outside. Beautiful. <laughs> U, V. U, V. I like that. <laughs> Did you plan that, Josie? I did it. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's very good. It's very memorable. We're going to do UV. UV. We're going to do another UV in a minute. Just so you know, this is going to be the nose. You can do a little nose up here. So it's, it's actually on the line. It's just slightly curved, but pretty straight at the same time. Okay, so when, we're going to do kind of like a mountain shape up here this time. So find that middle bit here of the of this side of the this square at the top basically <laughs> find the middle of that and this is where it's going to be like a mountain shape like this it's going to be the top of the eye it's like an arrow pointing up so this top right corner this little square we're going to do a little pointy mountain nice like mount fiji like we painted the other week we did mount fiji we painted the other week last last friday friday two, before two weeks ago <laughs> <laughs> lost count now so yeah we do virtual events every friday as well so if you want to paint one of our mount fijis that'll be on one of our youtube pages yeah you can find all of our old live shows on our youtube facebook right so from this bit here we're going to go down to our nose do you remember doing the little curvy bit for the nose we're going to go down the hill. So from this mountain, we're going to go down the hill to this bit here. I like this. like a little journey. Yeah. We're going to go down. And we're going to go on a couple of bumps. Oh, one, one two, two. And that's it. Two bumps. Two bumps. I like two So bumps. we're going down. We're going on a couple of bumps. One, two. Maybe even a tiny other little bump. A little cheeky one. Two. Cheeky little bump. Could be like an M. One, two, and then a little. Easy. Nice and easy. How are you guys doing at home? We got a first timer, Claire. Claire Lawrence says the first time for Jack, age six, from North Yorkshire. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so that's the side of the face there. Let's do um, the back of the face. So the back of the head. Thank you. There we go. So we've done this bit here. Bring it down a bit. So we've done this bit here. We went bumpy, bumpy, bump, and then we're going to do bumpy, bumpy, bump the other way. But can you see this one's a little bit bigger? It's a bit like this side. That's the eye, the other side. So we're going to do that big mountain over that side. We want to go bumpy, bumpy, bump, and then mount it. Let's Love do it. This. Let's do the zippers. This side, where the nose is, the tip of the nose. And we're going to go a little bit straight, and then we're going to go bump, do bump, do big bump. Oh, that's a big bump. So, How many bumps you got like there? an M again, another M, and then we do the mountain again, and we just bring it to the other side. About three bumps there. So, about three, yes. So, bump. Bump and big bump. Enough you've you done want it that to bump. be a little bit smaller. Have a cheeky sip, guys. Have a cheeky sip, sip. sip. You don't want it to hit the top. Might be a bit too high if it hits the top. So just a little bit. And this bit is just going to be the inside of the the head. It's a bit pointy. The first winner. Oh yeah! Announce the first. Should I announce it? Okay. So the question was. Da, 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 da. The question was. Da, da, da. What do you call a nervous dinosaur? Guys, lots of you got it right. The question was, what do you call a nervous dinosaur? And the answer was, a nervous Rex. <laughs> it's so bad, it's good. But the person who got it correctly first was KJ Sambi. Hey. Come on, KJ, so your name's on the board. Good luck. We're going to do some more in a second. Okay, let's get on with this. So we're going to do the, the little gap with the eyes. So we're going to do a little diamond. See where we did that... Um, pointy mountain let's do a mountain and um, let's do a little diamond within that so you know what a diamond looks like it's like a square kind of on its side not a real diamond the shape diamond i like a diamond i wish it was a real diamond it's like that so i leave a little gap here this is just where the eye dips a little bit it goes a bit darker it's a bit of a shadow there There we go. And we're going to do a little eye in there too. So I do like to do another little diamond shape, really, for the eye. 
can do it slightly curved if you want. Tiny little one inside. I did it more to the left hand side. It's over in this corner here. Now the little diamond with a little dot in, and that's your eye. Love it. Okay, I think it's time to do the under jaw, lower jaw. <laughs> the <laughs> under jaw. Let's do the lower jaw now. You can't okay. burn at those jokes, guys. These jokes are amazing. Come on, Rebecca Nilsson. These are the best dad jokes you've ever heard. Hi to my son, Avrian, five five year old. Hello. Hello, Avrian. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so we're going to do the lower jaw. Can you see that we did that? Remember that V we did? We're going to do another little V like this. I'm not going to take it all the way to the edge this time. I'm going to stop. Because when they close their jaw, you want it to, it's going to kind of come down in this motion. So it goes slightly to the side. It kind of comes down this way. So this is a great step-by-step -step to draw a dinosaur. I don't know if you guys have drawn a dinosaur before, but we try to break it down in easy little steps so that everyone go home with something that they're proud of. Yeah, hopefully. Right, now we're going to do that U. Hopefully everyone will be finding this quite easy. And if you if you find it doesn't look too right, maybe adjust the, the eye a little bit, or where the eye is placed, or how pointy this little bit at the top is. It might be a little bit longer. Okay, so we don't know you, but again, I didn't go all the way to the edge because when this jaw closes, it's going to come down here. It's going to come down to about there. So that's where I stop. I'm going to rub that out. It might confuse you. So we've got B, U, and then we're going to curve this in. Like this. Oh. So a bit like the edge of a boat. Let's bring it round. It's going to be the chin area. How are you guys doing at home? Are you keeping up? Do the little chin. And now we're going to just do the rest of the jaw, which is just kind of going up a little bit and then keeping it straight all the way to the edge. You can kind of come off this square a bit and do it curved. Like that. Can you see? It's come together now, guys. Look at that. You almost got the top of the dinosaur's head. What is your favorite dinosaur, guys? Let us know in the comments. Let us know your favorite. I always used to love dinosaurs growing up. And I do think the T-Rex was my favorite. It's just because it was really ferocious. Oh. Did you have a favorite, Jojo? The ones, uh, I don't know what it's called, actually. The one with the big, long neck. The long neck. Guys, who can tell us what that one was? The long necked dinosaur. I bet you someone knows. You know which knows. one. I know which one. I want to see if our sippers know. Who knows what it is? Who's our dinosaur enthusiast? Straight away, Ross Robbins, she says it. Stegosaurus. That's it. That's the one. No. Oh, right, okay, so we've got the jaw. Let's do, hmm, I'll see which one makes this easier. Yes, let's do this. Um, so we'll do we'll do the little top of the head and we'll bring it round. So what we're doing is we're bringing it round to this. Can you see where we did that first rectangle first? We're bringing it down to this point here. And it's going to be the top of the head. So starting from the mountain, we're going to do up a little bit. And then we're going to curve all the way, sorry, all the way round. Need a blunter, um, blunter pencil. Got a very sharp pencil today. <laughs> I'm scared about putting too much pressure. There you go. I'm trying to make it a little bit thicker for you. Can you see that? So from the mountain, that from near the eye. We're going to go up, then we're going to curve all the way around, all the way to that bit there. Joe, so we got a joke from Rebecca Milson. She said, what is a T-Rex's favourite fruit? Can you guess it? Favourite fruit? No. Don't a know. raspberry! Oh, <laughs> how did I not get it's that? Not I love it's raspberries as well. So can you see that kind of, the necks kind of coming together there? Kind of fit in this big square, which is the body going to be the body. And what we're going to do is we're going to come underneath the chin. So kind of like in between this bit here, where that original line was actually in the middle center. Let's come down from the chin, the middle of the canvas. Remember when we did the middle of the canvas there? Find that little bit where it hits the chin, and we're going to go curved, and we're going to go down here. 
We're going to cut off some of this corner. Make a little triangle. Can you see a little triangle there? That's great. You can actually start from over here if you want. Start, cut that asp into a little triangle. And then we're going to come all the way up to the, underneath the chin. This is the body. So you'll see, this is what you want, you want it to look like. So when it's come from underneath the chin, and you're going to be curving round. Do that leg. Thank you. Love it. So we're coming down, coming round. And we're going to do a leg here. So we're going to keep going round. Go, go, go. All the way curve, to the curve, bottom. Curve. You got and this, do, guys. Do another little triangle, triangle at the bottom there. So you've got one little triangle at the top. Now the little triangle at the bottom. It's going to be the leg. Big, chunky, strong leg. And once you got that, we're going to jump for another joke, Josie. You ready? Go for it. You ready? You guys ready? You guys are throwing out some amazing jokes. But well, these are the official ones, so you can go on the board. You ready, guys? You ready? So, what do you call a dinosaur with an extensive vocabulary? First person goes on the board, guys. I know you're going to get it. Come on, guys. Okay. How's it going at home? Are you keeping up? Cool stay are, Josie. Yay. Cool stay are. Have a sip as well. Sip, sip. Okay, let's do the rest of this body. So we've come down from the neck and we want to bring it all the way round until, until the leg area, really. So we're coming down and we're going we're gonna to create another little triangle this side. So we're going to come down and then create another triangle this side. So coming from that neck bit that we brought, bring it all the way down. Can make it curve out slightly if you wanted to. It's a bit more curved rather than straight. Very curves, I like it. You've got sharp lines, you've got curves. t rex got everything. We've got a lot of sharp lines. This, this is very expressive, the way that we've used the brush strokes on this one. Yes, very expressive art piece. You'll find your style as well. If this is your first time ever painting, you'll find your style. And that's why yeah. I encourage you to keep painting because after a while you'll find what painting style you prefer and then you can put that onto your art piece. Exactly, you could actually bring up a Google picture or if you've got um, a toy dinosaur in front of you, um, you could actually just use that as a reference and paint in exactly the same colors or um, you can paint realistic if you wanted to. But we're quite expressive today with our choice. So I've got that down. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring it a little bit of a bump to the bottom there. Let's give it a bit more of a rounded body rather than on a harsh line. Straight. <laughs> Straight belly. It's all about the curves. Come on. And I haven't gone all the way because I'm gonna I'm actually gonna create a leg here. So I've just kind of gone to the just over the center line. Josie, these people are quick with the responses on the jokes. We've got some Ooh. clever people in today. That's good. Let's do let's do some circles for the knees. So there's gonna be a knee for the on the T-Rex roundabout here. And there's going to be another one over here somewhere. So we've got a T-Rex and wheels now, guys. Oh, this one's probably really a little bit too small. T-Rex on wheels. So one is here, just after this little triangle that we made in the middle of this lower square. And then we've got one kind of over in the corner there. T-Rex on wheels. Oh. Okay, hopefully you've all got that. You've pretty much got this leg sorted. It comes all the way down. It's gonna hit that circle and then we're gonna go out. This is gonna be the back part of the leg. Let's bring it out, let's bring it close so you guys can see it. So right, what we've just done, oh, here we, go. Just like that. we put a circle here and a circle here. That's the line we've just done for the body. We've got that leg and it comes round and it goes out. Now we're going to do this one that comes down and around that circle. Same with this one. Bring that round. Do the calves on the legs. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. So we've got it coming up, round, down. And then we're going to bring it in here. So inside this rectangle here. And we're going to go round that knee shape and Round down. the bend. Just round the bend. Just like a roundabout. There we go. There we go. That's going to be your strong leg. Same over here. The leg actually is behind the body. 
from this angle. So we're going to come from from where we started that little bump. We're going to get that and we're going to hit the circle. I'm going to tell them the joke now, Jojo. Tell me the answer. You've had so many people give me replies. It's time to tell the answer. Ready? Yep. Okay, guys. So the question was, what do you call a dinosaur? Oh, I'm back. Look at that. <laughs> so what do you call a dinosaur with an extensive vocabulary? Love, you got it right. The answer was, of course, a theosaurus. Yay! <laughs> Come on. And um, whoever got it right was... Pink Pelican, you're first, you're on the board. Well Very done. Nice. You're on the chance to win some prizes. Let's do this. Fast, fast, fast. Very fast. So we're coming down here and then we're gonna go. Oh. That's gonna be back of the leg. So you can see in the picture behind me. It's gonna be the calf. And then we're gonna come from over here. We're gonna go all the way around the bend like we did with the other one. Oh, not too round the bend. That was a prep around the bend. <laughs> Down off the canvas. Hopefully your sketches is coming along. We can't wait to see what yours look like, guys. See, so be stepping back, have a look at it, see if it's looking okay. Does look very weird without the teeth, by the way. Very, very, Does very take strange. a while to get used to without the teeth. Okay, so let's do the tail. So the tail's going to be round about here. So it's just the diagonal lines coming from the, the body part here. Can you see when it comes out? Coming off. And then just above the leg, we'll have another. That's the tail. You can, if you want, have it coming all the way in and have yeah. it pointing in. You can whip it all the way back if you want, guys. If you want to. If you want to. We didn't do it in ours, but if you want to whip your tail back, you can have a nice little cheeky end of the tail. Back on the canvas. Saying that, guys, what are you using? We're obviously using a canvas right here, but what are you using to paint with? Are you using a canvas board? Are you using wallpaper? We've had people even using bricks. So what are you using to paint with us today, guys? We'll actually absolutely love to know what you're painting with. It's always good to be creative and find a different medium. But canvas, that's what we're using today. We're using a canvas 16 by 12 canvas today. Okay, let's do these arms, shall we? So the arms are gonna be made of little baguettes today. Oh, we're going for the baguettes. Little baguettes, little small baguettes. Let's start with, um, so you can see, can you remember that? That old rectangle, that big rectangle? The right hand side, we're gonna use this side and we're gonna do it round about here. We're gonna do a baguette here. So these are the arms. These are the infamous arms. So many people. French baguette are questioning a T-Rex's arms, because they're quite oh, short. Yes. So they want to know what they're Very for. Short. And another. But they were extremely powerful. Yes, four times more powerful, is it? Than they a were. human's arms? There's a I real strong they debate. they do anything with them. <laughs> they're used to grip the prey, um, and they're used as kind of gripping tools. I heard somewhere that they just stopped growing, and We've heard it, yeah. So as they grow, they're up to their teenage years, they actually stop and then they become a fully formed T Rex. So they've got these kind of teenager arms on a grown full T Rex. So that's why, but they still, it's, it's all subjecture. Hmm. No one knows 100%. So I'm going to do a V at the bottom. So I've got one baguette like that, another baguette, almost like a sausage, actually, that one is. Um, and then I've got a V shape coming out, and that, that's going to be. The fingers, which I can now bubble, 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 and do a claw. You can do a sharp nail if you want. We're going to do another baguette this side. Little French baguette, and Love they're going to they're going to overlap at the joints. So that's going to be the joint, and then we do the V shape, which will bubble into fingers. They've got very strange arms. I never really looked at them in detail until I painted this and I was like, they're really strange. They're strange, but they're strong. Very, very strong. So that's just a sketch. You want to make them look a little bit more formed. 
So we're going to bring it round. Can you see the edge? And then you just bring it in. So you can make them a little bit more finger-like. You can rub out all the excess lines. Oh, I think I've got a special joke You for... don't want this bit to be a line. You want to rub that. For the hands, Joe. Hmm? I've got a joke for the hands. Go on. Let's see if I can get it. Let's see if I can get it. Okay, I'm ready for you. Go for it. Guys, why do we write T-Rex instead of Tyrannosaurus Rex? Ooh, think about it. I've almost just gave you the biggest hint because we're painting it or drawing it right now. So why is the Tyrannosaurus Rex called T-Rex? Let's go, guys. Let's go. It's got our little hands. You can do this one as well. So bring it round, form it. Bring it round, form it. And there's just one, one little bit left to do. So come back to the mouth. Just want to do that bit of skin that the mouth has just here. And then because you see a little bit of the inside of the mouth, just want to do a little half circle from the chin up to this bit here. There we go. Actually just gonna do a little bit. This is just from the under the other side of the mouth as well. So can you see this? This is the inside of the mouth. This is where the teeth are gonna go, either side. I'm not gonna draw the teeth in, but you can draw the teeth in if you wanted to. The thing is, what we're going to do is we're going to paint over all of that and we'll, pe we'll put in the teeth a little bit later, but essentially loads of teeth will go in this bit here. It'll help you get an idea of what it looks like. There we go. I think you're pretty much sorted. You might want to do some of these kind of um, muscle tendons coming out of the neck. You can kind of draw a couple of them in if you want. Oh, and it's usually got a bit of a dip in the skull here. It's got quite a lot of holes in the skull. So you can kind of make a little Holes hole. in the skull. Like that. Rhymes, Jojo. Oh, there. And guys, you're pretty much done. It's time to rub out all them lines we don't need. So the middle line, um, that boxes, them box lines that we did originally. Rub them all out. It's going to be a ma manic rubbing session for me while Elliot tells a couple of okay. other jokes. So we're going to go straight into the competition more so we can tell them who the winner of the last rub, one was. Rub, rub. Let's do it. Competition wall, let's do it. <laughs> Love it. So, the last question was Oh, oh, I was going to tell you another one. So, why do we write T Rex instead of Tyrannosaurus Rex? Obviously, because of its short hand. So easy. So, who got that right? Michael Anderson. Yes, correct. Your name is on the board. I'm going to give you another one while Josie ferociously rubs out some of the paper markings. Here we go. So, Next one I'm gonna give you guys is, oh, you guys ready? What dinosaur slept all day? What dinosaur slept all day? There's a very, very tired dinosaur, and it's got a name, and you guys are gonna get it first. I hope you're gonna get it, because if you do, you can win some prizes. Like I said, guys, you've got three top prizes to be won, and make sure you donate to the Natural History Museum this is all for a good cause. It's a charity and we want to make sure that their doors are always open for free to the public. So if you didn't know at the beginning, it's nhm.ac.uk forward slash donate. I see some answers coming in. I'm excited. Nathan, Nathan, I'm excited. <laughs> Who's going to get it first? Joe, you ready? No. She's not ready. I'm still rubbing. She's still rubbing. So I want to see who's got that first. We've got Cameron White, it's a dinosaur. We've got Mark Polovic said Dignos or we've got Tracy Stevens saying Sleepy Saurus. Who's correct? Who got that correct first? It could be you guys. So make sure that you just answer first. Pop it into the comments. And like I said, we are not controlling all of this. We've got a back of house, someone who's controlling this. So if you answer and there's a little bit of a lag, sorry, it's nice. <laughs> we got Mr. Magic sorting out for us. So good luck, guys. Fingers crossed. We want you guys to win some prizes. We do this every Friday on Instagram and YouTube. And like I said, today we are doing this with the Natural History Museum. It's a good day. You guys excited? We're excited too. Make sure they go follow. <laughs> yes, true. Make sure you go follow our sippers on YouTube and also on Facebook and Instagram. 
We are here to bring creativity to the masses, and we want you guys to create with us. Now let's go back to Josie, so we can see the ferocious painting coming together. Woo! Here's one I made earlier. No, I didn't. I'm still having, but I'm pretty much there. So guys, how are you getting on at home? Let me know in the comments. It's good to understand if you've caught up with me to know kind of where you are. Right, first things first, we're gonna go and quickly paint this background. We're just gonna paint it a block color. You can paint it however you like, or you could leave this till last so you can get really detailed with it. Paint some trees in the background, paint some sky, I don't know, whatever you wanted to paint in the background. Uh, you could actually leave this bit till later if you wanted to take more time on it. However, I'm just gonna use my big brush and I'm going to paint it all one block colour, which is yellow. So I dipped my brush into a little bit of water and I'm not much, just a little bit damp. And I'm just going to cover my brush with paint and start layering on this colour. So just full. You can still see my pencil marks because I did them so strong. Ignore them, but you're going to want to make sure you get full coverage on your one. You don't want to see any pencil marks coming through. So that might mean a couple of layers, or it might mean um, you spend a bit more time rubbing out. So make sure you've got no pencil marks. And I'm going to go all the way underneath, up into that bit of skin. I'm not going to miss that. As I said, we'll do the teeth a little later. And we're going to paint all the way around the T-Rex. It's quite therapeutic, this bit, guys. This is the therapeutic time. This is where you guys get relaxed. So this is why what we do during this period is... Have a sip, guys. Make sure you're having a cheeky sip. Thank you to everyone joining us at home. from wherever you are in the world. So is it morning in Australia right now? I guess so. Yeah, what time is it where you really are? Really early. Here we go, so I'm just painting yellow, yellow, yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. There we go. So I'm just making sure I get full coverage. But none of them white canvas squares are coming through. I'm getting straight up to the line and not leaving a bit of space between this bit and the background. You want to cover it all. You can actually use your flat edge of the brush and bring it all the way around. Just make sure enough is on your brush. I'm not using much water for this. I don't actually want to dilute my paint for this bit. You can always add a bit of water with acrylic paints, which will essentially thin out the paint a little bit, make it go a bit further. I want quite thick coverage on this, so I'm not adding, and, and yellow is quite a transparent color anyway, so I'm not adding any water to my yellow. Just got a little bit of a damp brush to soften the bristles. Josie, people are really getting these answers quicker than I'm even saying them, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Do you know who got the last one right? Who? Shall I tell you? Yeah. Okay, so the question was, da, 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 da. Which dinosaur slept all day? Which dinosaur, like this, slept all day? And the correct answer was, Dino Snore! <laughs> it's a good one. The person who got that right first was Cameron White. Your name is on the board. Sorry. Well done, Cameron, well done. <laughs> well done. Right, so I'm painting, painting, painting. And then I've got the bit underneath the legs as well. There we go. Get full coverage on that. And once that is done, you can start thinking about what colour you're going to paint your dinosaur. This is exciting. Like you said, guys, we're going for the pinks, and this is because it's our brand colour, but we want you guys to be as expressive as you can be. So pick a colour that you want. Pick a colour that you might want to gift it to someone who enjoys. So this is why we love Art Super so much, isn't that right, Joe? Because we can yeah. not only create something, you can actually gift this to someone. So this is why art is the best medium, because you learn a skill 
And not only that, you can actually now gift that to somebody else. So is there a birthday coming up? Who's celebrating a birthday soon? If you know someone's celebrating a birthday, what better gift than to give them your own Rawsome Rex? Yeah, think about what kind of their um, living room, room is or exactly. their bedroom is. And Try to match their decor. Match their decor, think of what they were like, and then paint for that person in mind. We find that it really helps to have somebody in mind you're painting for, because then you get really specific on what you're going to paint for. Oh, sip, sip. Guys, are you still sipping with us? I hope you are. We're I need to grab my mindful, mindful mixer today. Yeah, so it moves up. So it's a Japanese mixer. Um, so I'm washing my brush. So when I'm washing my brush, I kind of pretend to paint the bottom of the um the paint cup so back and forth don't stub it down you can ruin your bristles that way so just imagine you're painting back and forth back and forth tap off any water and then you can use your big um, your piece of paper your paper towel to wipe off any paint again use this uh, imagine you're painting it or wipe it so that the, you're wiping it in the same way the bristles fall Rather than just scrubbing it really hard, you might ruin the bristles. That Don't way. ruin your bristles, guys. We got somebody from NYC today, Josie. Ooh. Sylvia Gar says, we see you. And Sophia Milano is 1 p.m. in Colombia. Way 1 p.m. We've Colombia. never been to Colombia, have we? No, it's on my list, though. It's on our bucket list. Colombia sounds like an amazing place. So you can see here that um, the... The T-Rex, although it's kind of painted quite expressively, it still has highlights um, and lowlights. So the shadows um, and the lighter parts. So where the shadows are, the darker parts, they all fall underneath the body and this side of the um, T-Rex. The light is essentially coming from this direction. So light's hitting the kind of body, the bum, the legs, this side of the leg, the back bit here, and then the side of the face a little bit here. So you'd imagine a lot of light on the other side. It's coming from this angle here. It's got on the tail as well. And then it's just hitting a little bit of this leg because that one's kind of hidden behind the body. And then it's got a little bit as well kind of on the underside of the abdomen. And then you've got a tiny bit on the head. Nice. And then we put a lot of dark bits. So where the, um, where the eye is, it's sunk a lot deeper. So it's a lot darker there. It's a lot darker in these kind of gaps and the holes that the, in the head that it has. In between, um, in between the middle middle of the face there, the head. Underneath is a bit shadowed, underneath the chin. Because it's got a massive head, Josie, of big course. Head. Really big head. <laughs> big creatures, aren't they? They're humongous. Some coming through here, but as I said, really dark underneath the body. This side of the leg's not hitting much light. This side of the leg and under the tail too. Do you know how big the T-Rex was? Go on. It's up to 12 meters long. Whoa. And its tail was six meters sometimes. It's crazy. It's crazy. It'd be very scary if they still were alive, wouldn't they? And you know, the skull of a Tyrannosaurus Rex measured up to 1.5 meters. Ooh. Ooh, the skull. Right, guys, so totally. have a think about what color you'd want to do for the background. But you're going to mix up your light colors, your dark colors, and your kind of in between mid tone colors. Uh, so for, for, for me, I'm going to be making like a dark purple, a pink, and then like a light pink. I'm actually going to use the fluorescent pink because I think it's quite a nice fluorescent pink. I like that color. It's quite bright. I'm going to kind of use that as the mid-tone color. I'm going to mix it with a bit of white to make it lighter, tint it, a little bit of a lighter color. And then I'm going to mix that with some darker colors, so like the blue here, maybe even some black to make that purple. If you haven't got a fluorescent pink or magenta pink at home, uh, you can always use red and blue to make a purple. So red and blue mixed together. So essentially, you would substitu substitute your pink for a red in this circumstance. So you would mix the, the pink with some dark blue. So let's make this shadow first. So I like to take some of my pink. So you can take red, as I said. We're going to mix the darkest color first. So I'm going to take quite a bit of it. Always take the lighter colour first. That's a great little tip, guys. Make sure you start with the lightest first. Why is that, Joe? Because the other colours are really, really strong and you would need um, less of that other colour to make the desired colour that you need. So it's always good to start with the lighter colour first and then mix little bit by little bit until you get your colour. If you do it the other way, you'll be adding a lot more of the lighter colour and you might waste some paint that way. So, got some pink. So as I said, if you 
if you want to do it um, in the same kind of colors, but you don't have pink, you'd use red. If you want to do it in green, say, you're gonna make a, you're gonna want to make a really dark green at this point. And to make a dark green, you bring out the color rule. Let's get the color rule together. Yes. Yeah, so to make a dark green, so if you're painting it in green, to make a dark green, you would want to add some blue. That will make it darker. Instead of black, add blue. Makes it darker. It goes like this. If you want to make it, um, so if you wanted to do it in, um, let's say, orange, and you wanted it to be a bit, you need to make the darker shade of orange, you add red at this point. So you're going to want your, you want your shadows to be the darker version of whatever colour you're painting it in at home. So I'm going to make mine darker, so I'm going to add some ultramarine. Have you guys got ultramarine at home? If you haven't, what are you using? What kind of colour are you going to be painting your T-Rex today? We want to see a rainbow of colours of T-Rexes. Like I said, guys, it doesn't have to be our colour. It doesn't have to be pink. You can create your own little masterpiece. So what colours are you going for, guys? Let us know. Making it a bit darker. You can see it going purple. There you go. Mixing it in a little area. Don't mix it all over my palette because you always paint that way. It dries quickly. Acrylic paints do dry quite quickly. So I'm adding a touch of black in there too, just to make it that touch bit darker. You're making that purple. That's yes. my favorite color. It is. Got Tracy Stevens say she's going for a green dinosaur. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So mix some, mix some blue in there, some dark blue, and you're going to get a darker shade. Now you want your darkest shade of that color. So if you're painting a yellow dinosaur, you're going to want a dark yellow. So you might want to add some red and it goes slightly orange. If you're painting a blue dinosaur, you, you're going to struggle getting it too darker if you haven't got like an ultramarine. So if you, if you want to paint a blue dinosaur, you might want to paint it in a cer cerulean blue color and then have ultramarine as the shadows. So use your darkest blue that you've got and then use a lighter blue or you can always mix a bit of white into the, the blue to light it up. So I'm getting my dark color, might add it a little bit, a little bit more black. And once I've got that color, I've been mixing with my, my big brush. But once I've got that color and I'm happy with it, we're going to go to my medium brush. So guys, get your medium brushes ready. We're about to get involved with me. I'm scraping some of the paint off my brush. I don't like wasting paint. This is a good little tip. So I'm just scraping it off with um, a palette knife and pin it back because there's quite a lot in here. I mix quite a lot. I we like to save the paint. Waste so not, want so not. Much. There is not. That's a lot but of paint. If you, don't, if you don't have a palette knife or anything to scrape it off, you can just give your brush a wash. Give it a wash. Don't let it sit in the water because it can ruin your brush as well. Give it a wash and pop it, clean it back up and pop it back on that paper towel for me. So you've got a good, good clean brush. Okay. So I've got a nice clean, slightly damp um, medium brush and I'm just going to put a little bit of this paint onto the tip. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a slight outline around your dinosaur. So you can move down to your small brush if you want at this point. You're going to want to go all the way around. Would you prefer a me medium brush or a small brush? You can go for a small brush if it's um Get it on the tip there. You're going to have to dip more. If you're looking for real precision, why not? Give it a try. There you go, you can use your small brush too. Let's get a nice thin line. Whichever one suits you best. So sometimes a medium brush can give you a better line. And if you find that your brush is a bit dry, give it a little dip. Yes. And if you do dip, Don't remember to sip. have a cheeky sip. Just make sure you haven't got too much water on your um on your small brush because it can kind of collect a lot of water and it just starts dripping and you don't get such a fine line. I'm going to bring this over here quickly. And then we'll move to the art cam in a second. So you just start going round, even around your jaw, around your nose, and just outline. It's going to give you a good 
outline around your T-Rex. So I'm going to move to the art cam, but Ellie, you can come in and do another joke. I'm ready. You guys ready for this? I know you guys are. Let's do it. So this is going to be a good one. This is a very good one. You ready? What do dinosaurs use on the floors of their kitchen? Obviously, it's metaphorical. Dinosaurs and kitchens don't go hand in hand. But it's a joke. I want you guys to answer. So, what do dinosaurs use on the floors of their kitchen? First person goes on the board. If your name was on the board, you can win some prizes. We told you guys some fantastic prizes to be won. You can win two tickets to the Wildlife Photographer of the Year. You can win two tickets to the Art Sippers Experience Show, live, see me and Josie. And the top prize is two tickets to the Silent Disco or Yoga. They're great prizes, guys. So get your names up on the board. So first person, your name's on there. Good luck, Sippers. Good luck. Doing well, guys. So how's the art cam looking? Let's see if we can get this a little bit closer for you guys. Yep, art cam's on. Beautiful. So I'm going to try and make sure I don't fall out of it. I go around the outside there too. Oh, so my, my um, yellow paint is just slightly wet still. It's okay. Just going around all the lines that we drew earlier. It's really bringing it out. And we can't wait to see your work as well. So we'd love to see everybody's work. If you can send it in, we can actually feature That's some so on true. our page. So if you create your masterpiece after you've finished, Send it to Art Sippers on Instagram. You say it's the best way to send it to them? Um, yeah. Send Instagram. it to us. Send it to us on Instagram. Why not? Be the best bet. So DM your work to Art Sippers. And also, if you like to meet like-minded artists, great place to go is the Sippers Society. So on Facebook, we have a little, we have a little kind of, we have a little family. Yeah, we call them the Sippers family. Group. So if you want to post some of your artwork in there and you can meet some like-minded creators, and that's a great way where you can post your work and also get some great feedback. You'll get some great encouraging feedback. We have a good friend of ours called Luke Stanton who, who's the community leader there and he'll look after you guys and he'll tell you which ones, um, you, know, you know, where to post it or he'll tell us about who's posted as well. We'll go visit it and have a look. So that's the Sipper Society on Facebook. It's a little Facebook group. Yeah, it's just called the Sipper Society. And it's kind of like the after party. So everybody usually goes in there and posts their work afterwards. And we go in and we have a look how everybody's doing, how everybody's done. It's a good indicator for us to understand, you know, how what level, how hard it was, how easy it was. Um, you know, you guys can tell us if you found it easy or if you found it um, difficult. It's really good. We love it. We love seeing all the creatives. And you can be any level. You don't have to be an artist. You can be um, amateur. You can be new. Oh, just keep baby wipes. Okay. Oh, she's shouting for baby wipes. Baby I told you guys, wipes. baby wipes are so important. There we go. Here's your baby wipe. Happy little accidents, guys. There are no accidents when creating. No judgment, guys. Have a little sip. Sip, sip. I've got too much on my brush. Make sure it's just on the tip there. Make sure you've got it too plugged up. And I think we'll go live to a couple of people in a minute, shall we? That's a great idea. I think right while I'm doing this, maybe we can go live to a couple of people. Sweet. Let me just let you know who got the last question right. It's actually a really good one. I was quite proud of that one. So the question was, guys, what do dinosaurs use on the floors of their kitchens? The answer, obviously, reptiles. It's a, it's a great, come on, guys. Give me a round of applause. That's, that's good stuff. So the person got it right. Actually, there's two people who got it right literally bang on the same time. Mark Polivnik, you're on the board. And Stephen Johnson, you're on the board too. Come on. You're going to end with a chance to win some prizes. Prizes could be yours. So, Josie, do you think we should go to some live people right now? Yes, I think we've got a couple of our sippers online right now. So, 
waiting to go live to them. So those that are joining the Super Society, you can actually uh, request to go live with us. And I think I think we might have Bloss. Do we have Bloss? We might have Bloss. We're going to go live to one of our sippers so that you guys can see how, how the creative yeah. process has come through. I think we've got Bloss there, Josie. Yay! Hello, Bloss. How is it going? Good. I'm enjoying this one. It's really oh, good. Oh, amazing. Aww. So good. That's awesome. Do you want to see what I've done so far? Yes, I um, bet the sippers want to see what you created so far. We're so excited. Let's see your masterpiece. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Well done. Everyone, round of applause for Bloss. It's amazing. really cool. I'm doing the outline. Um, and I'm going to do yellow, red, some like rose colors on it so yeah wow <laughs> that's gonna be impressive that's i can't wait so to good. see so red yellows and um rose colors yeah because i didn't have pink so i made a little ready rosy color Yay! Wow. i love that improvisation i love it thank you so much for joining us you've been a few times now haven't you yeah i think this is my eighth time now Wow. wow. <laughs> What's been your favourite art sippers <laughs> art that you've created so far? Sorry, say it again. What's your favourite art sippers art piece you've created so far? I think I enjoyed the space one the most. That, that's the one that's on the bed. Oh, <laughs> um, amazing. The parrot. Oh, oh the amazing. Parrot. So are you going to be gifting your final dinosaur to anyone? Are you going to give it as a gift or are you going to keep it for yourself? I'm not sure. I'll see how it turns out. I'm thinking <laughs> in a few of my pieces are stacking up a bit now. I need to yeah. get a new acrylic book. <laughs> you must have but no yeah. space on your walls. Pardon? You must you must have no space left on your wall. No, no space. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. Guys, Bloss. give Bloss a round of applause. She's at <laughs> the halfway stage. Look at that. Bloss, you've got to post that in the Sippers as well. They look society. amazing already. I That's will. right. Your artwork in the Sib Society. So, if you want to meet like minded people and you want your artwork to be featured on the Wall of Fame, yes. so we'll post everyone's artwork at the end on our Instagram. Yes. So, post that into Sib Society Facebook, Facebook group. group or you can DM it to us on our Instagram. Yeah, send it to us on our Instagram and we'll feature someone on our page, our Art Sippers page. I think we should go to another live. I think we have someone else live. Who Let's do it. Who do wants to? We have Denise? Denise. Denise, are you there? Let's see. I think it might be Denise and Maya. Hey, oh! There we are. Hello, guys. Denise and Maya. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. How's it going? Good. Yeah, how have you done so far? How did you find it? Enjoying it so far. This is mine so far. Oh, I love that. Oh, wow, guys. Yes. I love the gradient effect as well. So you've got a gradient effect there. Trying. Great outline there. Yeah, we've been really enjoying this one. We've done quite a few. We started, the first one we did was the Natural History Museum, the whale. That's how we find out about you guys. We've done quite a few. Oh, cool. And now, where is your whale now? Did you put it up on the wall? Yes. Yay. Yes. <laughs> cool. And how are you finding today's? What colour are you going to paint yours? Um, Like a greeny brown. Greeny like, brown? Like that. More of a grey, maybe a grey blue. Oh, we're looking forward to seeing I'm so that. excited to see what you guys create. Is this kind of something that you're doing together now? Are you getting creative together? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I hadn't painted since I was at school and Maya loves painting, so I thought I'd just try it and actually ended up really enjoying it. So it's <laughs> no way. So you've got the art bug now, Denise. Absolutely. <laughs> see, this is what we I love to I think when I bought loads of art paints and stuff. I uh, they... did like coming down with acrylics and paintbrushes, and it's yeah. just, I seem to become obsessed with buying more art supplies. Yeah, it happens. Oh, That's I love that. Bug. We've got two artists in the making. We can't wait to see your final masterpieces, guys. <laughs> so let's just hold them up one more time so everyone can see them. We want to give you guys a round of applause. Yay! Come on. Looking guys, so look at this. You've got it spot on. The portions are great, guys. Well Absolutely done. amazing. It. Thanks for making that your final art pieces at the end. Thank so you. we like to do that, guys. It's an art appreciation during our natural yeah. in-person events. We like to get people to stand up and look Take around the breath. classroom. Have Take a look, breath. get inspiration. So hopefully you've exactly. got some inspiration there. Some you've seen the gradient effects. Different that. colors. Yeah, it's awesome. Mix it up. So this is a time where you have your little break. Mixing my outline. And it's time. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's now time for you guys to take the next step to create your T-Rex. Ready? How are you getting on with your outlines? I'm still doing mine. So thank you, Blossa, Denise, and Maya, for showing us your work. Yes. We love that. It's a family affair. It's a family affair. We've got mothers and daughters. We've got we got lovers together. So there's a date now. It's a great place to do some art. It's a great thing. Or if you're celebrating a birthday. That's a great shout. Who is celebrating a birthday today or this weekend? We'll give you a cheeky little shout out. Yeah, what are you celebrating? Is anyone celebrating anything at the moment? So I'm still doing my outline. Guys, you want to probably do this and not need to at home. I'm just kind of brushing a little bit through it. Oh, Sylvia Garza said where to post the work. So that would be on Instagram for our DMs or post that on the Sipper Society on the Facebook group. So type in the Sipper Society, hashtag good vibe drive <laughs> on Facebook and you'll find us. Yeah, or just, um, you can always go onto our Instagram page um, and you, you'll, find it, you'll find it in the bio on our Instagram page if that's easier. Uh, you just go to our little link on the Instagram page and that'll be there. I'm just going to put a little outline around to watch you. So when I've got to the body bit here, I've kind of did the outline here, I kept that body bit there. So make sure you do the outline there. And make sure you get a nice steady hand. I always keep getting purple. <laughs> There we go. You got a little purple dinosaur. I like that. It's going for purple. It's going for purple. And I've got a purple joke now. Pink. I've got a joke after that. I've got a joke about a purple dinosaur. Come on, come on in. Okay, guys. Now she's painting a purple dinosaur. We all know that there was a famous purple dinosaur. What was the name of that famous purple dinosaur? Not this one. This is Rawson Rex. But if you can give me the name of that famous purple dinosaur, your name goes on the board. It was a classic. It used to sing. You guys should know this. Come on. I believe someone's going to get this right. Do you know Jojo? I do know this. <laughs> I don't know if you have to be 90s baby to know this one. Or earlier. Yeah, I don't know when it came out. Was it in the 90s? Oh, we've got some, we've got some answers. Are people getting it right? Mm-hmm. Love him. There we go, doing that inside mouth bit as well. So you guys want to get a good clean line on it. Do it very neatly. And get a good outline. So it's just so it stands out a bit to you guys at home. You don't have to do the outline if you don't want to. If you're experienced artist, here, you'll know kind of where the shadows are and how to break it up. Some of my lines are a little bit thick. It's okay. That's true. Who is an amateur? Is it your first time painting? If this is your first time painting, I want to see amateur in the comments. If this is, if you are an artiste, say artiste in the comments. Let us know if you're a beginner or you're a full-fledged artist? Yeah, we have we have all ranges. So people that are, are beginners and that are progressively getting better and better the more they join. Um, and then we have experienced artists who are just um, willing to just try something different, try something new, paint something that they may, may not have even painted before. Before this, I never actually painted a dinosaur before. I was like, ooh, well, you know, I'll try a dinosaur for this one. We have got another one coming up next month, 26th of August. Oh, that's a good diary. point. That's a very good point. We're going to do, we haven't painted that one yet, we'll but we're Jojo. doing a gentle giraffe. Oh. It's not as awesome as <laughs> like Rex. It's going to be gentle. So who likes giraffes? I absolutely love giraffes, and I think that's going to be great. They're cute. I like the giraffes. They are the cutest. Okay, getting that last little bit done now. I know that some of you at home may not be at this point, but hopefully most of you are painting on something a little bit smaller maybe. So 
Yeah, we had lots of people saying that they were painting on different types of mediums. I was so impressed with the, the T-Rexes I've just seen, though, that usually going halfway there gives us an understanding of, you know, how well um, the instructions were. And I think that it went down okay because they look like T-Rexes and that's always a way to understand if we were able to break it down well enough. So I think you guys absolutely smashed it. So we've got a few artists in the room. We love it. We've got David Uri. We've got Martin Adrevjak. Hope I said that right. And we've got Critical Fungus. He said he's an amateur. Would An amateur would probably be an insult to the amateurs. Yeah. No, we are all about no judgment. I bet you're a lot better than you think. Critical Fungus. Well, a name like Critical Fungus, <laughs> of course. Of course you're going to be critical. But <laughs> no judgment. That's the one rule, isn't that right, JoJo? Yes, no judgment. It, your judgment usually limits how creative you can actually get and be. That judgment on yourself anyway. Exactly. It, it just just stops you from letting loose and having fun. Because you're too worried about it not looking a certain way or being a certain way. And this is one of the reasons why we created Art Sippers. Because we realised yeah. that there's a lot of people that hadn't painted for ages. If not ever. So we wanted to... Well, my granddad, this story about my granddad is a strong one. He got, he was young. I think, how old was he? I think he was in oh, primary young. school. I'm going to say primary school. Should I say primary school? Yeah. He was really young and he had a teacher, uh, uh, I don't know if it was a supply teacher or the art teacher, but he had a, he had a teacher who um, didn't quite understand what he was trying to do. So the they were teaching a class about perspective and he had to draw one lorry behind the other. And he had just started and he hadn't put the road in. And I think the teacher had made a comment about it. Why is two lorries on top of each other? Made a you know a comment that um, to someone who's quite vulnerable and it's, it, being creative is a vulnerable space to be in anyway. Um, yeah, gave gave a comment like that, and it just stopped him from painting for years and years and years. And um, I managed to convince him to to join us. Um, I bought I took a took a paint kit round there and said, oh, you should join us over lockdown. And um, and he he did one day he did he did join us on one of our live shows, and he absolutely smashed it for his especially for his first time as well. He did great, and I think he really exceeded his expectations. And he's been joining us ever since, and he's just getting better and better. And I think that's one thing is, is that's why we wanted to take away the judgment and your own judgment. It's because it can stop you from doing so many things. And once you get that judgment away, you can start to create. And we're not going to judge. We just want you to get better and better. It's like a skill. Imagine you start playing the, the guitar. And the first yeah. time you start playing it, someone's like, that doesn't sound like the greatest song in the world. That's like, awful. Just, Stop just, that. Just like... starting. Just starting. So we're just trying to get you on that process. And once you realize that art is all a process, you'll realize that you can actually come out with a masterpiece. And it doesn't have to be your first time. It's all about enjoyment first. So start to enjoy the process. And I guarantee that at the end, you're going to have something you're happy with anyway. 100%. Right, let's get on the, on the painting side of things. So, let's do it. go back to your big brush. Big brush. I'm going to be using that um, a little bit of water. And I'm going to be painting in them shadows. So hopefully you have some of this dark paint left. And I'm going to get quite a lot on the brush. A bit of water because mine's dried out a tad bit. And now I'm going to get quite expressive by really just throwing on a couple of brush strokes. But as, as I said, I'm going to keep it kind of where shadows would be. So this side of the leg, underneath the body, a lot of shadows there on this side of the leg, and then a couple under the chin. And that little dip behind the eye, that's a little bit darker, and that dip there. So we're going to start layering on that. Time to lay, guys. I quite like it when the brush strokes can be seen. So I'm going to pop some here. You're painting purple. Dark purple, so that's shadow colour. Just like the name of a certain person used to oh. sing and tell some jokes. Go on. So, now she's painting purple, you guys should have got it. What was the name of the famous singing purple dinosaur on three? One, two, three. Barney! Barney. <laughs> so, I wish I could remember right. the theme tune for that. I can't remember either. 
Mm. I would know it as soon as I heard it. Okay, I remember. But Rossi Mori, well done. Your name's on the board. Well done, Rossi. Well done. Well kids done, Rossi. these days, is there any kids that know Barney? Let us know. Do you all know Barney? Is Barney still around? I'm not down with the kids anymore. So I'm putting it underneath this bit here. Look what Bloss Robin said. She said, my six, six, year six teacher put all art pieces of Roman pop on the wall apart from hers Aww. because it was wonky. However, oh, no. she went on to pursue art anyway. Yay. Love that, Bloss. So that's what we mean, guys. It's all about perspective. Art is all about perspective. You're the only person who knows what you're trying to create. So taking other people's judgment sometimes when you're in a creative process doesn't exactly. make sense. You go ahead and create your own happy masterpiece. Creativity is a muscle. You need to practice it. Keep doing those reps. Creative reps. That's what we're going to call it now. Creative, creative reps. reps. And today you're doing your first rep. If you haven't done it in a long time, think of this as your first time back in the artistic gym. Yes. <laughs> You've got to keep practicing. You'll get better and better. You'll learn how to use the brushes. You'll learn how to use the paint. You'll um, get used to the consistency, how, what, what kind of strokes each brush does. Oh, Tracy Stevens, I remember that. I love you, you, you love, love me. me. Yes. Come on, Tracy yes, Evans, Tracy. yes. Come on, you've made us remember. <laughs> Who Thank loves you. a Barney Singh song? Yay, that's, that's brought back memories. That's brought, we might have to start watching some Barney later on tonight. Bring back Barney. Where is Barney? She's disappeared. So I'm doing the inside of the mouth that's all dark as well. I'm actually running out of purple paint. I should make a little bit more. Oh, you can do that bit of skin as well, but it's quite dark. You can use your medium brush for this. I'm using my big brush. Big brush? That's the thing I like to say, guys. It's a thing. Whenever you hear the big brush, we all have to say it together. Big brush? Just like baby wipes. Whenever we're in our classes and somebody needs a baby wipe, they can't just say, excuse me, can we have a baby wipe, naughty picture? They have to say, baby wipes? And then me and Joyce will come running and give you a nice little cheeky baby wipe. I'm saying that we are still available if you guys want to book naughty picture, AKA the art sippers, for your private events. Yeah. We even do corporate events. So if you're looking for some for team building, if you're looking for something, to bring your family together for a birthday, for a hen party, art sippers can be your special gift. Yeah, so we're doing all online at the moment. We can go out to some private, if you'd like to have an in-person event, but we don't actually have our public events. Not just yet. Running just yet. Do that shadow, remember, underneath the chin here. Looking good. Just some dark bits. That leg, so you want to come all down this side of the leg. It's where the light's coming this way, so the shadow's coming this way. So the shadow will hit there. I need a bit more. Purple paint, it's okay. So this leg's quite dark anyway, because it's behind the body. So this is where you think about where the light is coming on the dinosaur. So where's it coming from, Joe? So the light is coming from this angle here and the shadows are all this side. So I'm just going to mix up a little bit more of my paint. Elliot, do you mind? Here we go. Just hold it down. Just going to quickly mix up some purple paint. I've run out. She's run out of purple paint. So big, expressive brush marks if you like. Thinking of Barney's made me think of other things that haven't been released for a long time. I'm thinking Jurassic Park. Oh, they had, they had a new one. When is the last time you've seen Jurassic Park? I When's the last time? Always on TV, right? <laughs> <laughs> I saw it the other day. Do you know, I'm going to throw out to the sippers. If you can tell me when the first Jurassic Park film, the Hollywood blockbuster, was released. I'm going to put your name on the board. What year? Ooh. What year did that film come out? 
I don't know how old I was, but I was quite young when it came out. Hmm. Do you know what year it was? Whisper to me. Whisper. I, I'm trying Whisper. to think. Like, yeah. I saw it the other day, and I thought it looked a lot older. Mm. But then I remember. I don't know if it came out before I was born. Go on, let me know. What year? Go on. Go on, let me know. Wrong. Hey. <laughs> but I hope the Sibbers can get it right. Come on, Sibbers. I believe in you. You can get this. If you get it right, your name goes on the board. I'm just going to bring a little bit of a shadow coming down this way from the eye as well. To the point of the nose. Oh, we forgot to do the little nostril. Do the nostril, guys. Oh, very important. It needs to breathe. I shouldn't have done it with the big brush there. It's a little, um, it's like a little bean shape. Elliot, can you show them on the main one, actually? Let me bring this over so you guys can see. It will slip. Guys, can you see that? Just a really small, just right there, for the nostril. The smallest, smallest slip. Okay. Looking forward to see you guys' creations. It's going I'll to be my best. so good. Are you guys doing this as families? Are you doing this together? Are you doing this by yourself? Let us know, guys. I'm going to um, mix kind of my mid-tone. So I'm going to mix some. Um, so it's not going to be as dark as this purple here. I'm going to make it lighter. So the same colors again. So mix a little bit of pink with a little bit of blue. I need some more blue. And I'm going to get this purple color. And I'm going to go in with this color now. So. We're going in with loads of different colours, different shades um, of pinks and purples. So I've gone in with a little bit of purple. If you've gone for green, you're going to go. Um, you're not going to go as dark as you did before. So add a little bit of blue, just so it still goes darker. We're going to go in with that colour. I'm just going to get more paint, please. Okay. While you're doing that, I'm going to tell them the answer to that last little joke. Yes. Shall I do it? Do it. Okay, guys, so Jurassic Park, the first, the first movie, this came out. No one said the specific, specific date, but I asked the year. But I'll tell you specific. It was the 16th of July, 1993. It's a long time ago. You said 1987. Yeah, it's 1987. Well up. It looked really <laughs> old the other day. Well up. And the person got it right first was Lou R. Oh, what year was it, 93? 93. Oh, so it was when I was born. Literally, when you're born, three years after. Three years after I was born. Oh, it's a bit dark enough. So I'm still kind of adding this into the the shadow areas, or near the shadow areas. It's a little bit dark, and you can blend it while it's still kind of wet on your canvas. You can blend it, mix them, mix the colours. It's lovely when you get that kind of mix and the brush strokes blending together a little bit. Not blend completely, but just overlap. I'm going to mix loads of different colours. So I'm doing it just where near I did, kind of near where I did with the other shadow. It looks like you're doing a massive Barney now. I can't get it out of my head. <laughs> That's true. She's literally creating Barney. That's where- Especially this colour. This like is perfect. Thing. I've been missing Barney and now you're creating him. This is a great, it's a great time. It's a great I time. Love you. Go on, sing it. Sing a dinosaur. And we like you guys to create your own little name. So we've got Raw Some Rex. What are you going to name yours? Make sure you name your creation. So Bloss that joined us earlier, the first person that you saw, she said to us the other day that she's learned that her style is very expressive, big brush strokes. So Bloss, I hope you're enjoying this. This is very your style. Exactly. Everyone will find their style. That's what we want you guys to keep creating. Are you expressive? Are you more pop party? What kind of style matches your personality? You can just keep playing with it. Keep playing. Just keep playing. Have fun with it. That's what we like saying. Have fun. Why are you having fun? Have a That's cheeky good. sip. Like I said, guys, we're sipping on some news out today. It's a mindful cocktail. It's a cocktail formula, isn't it? It's a Japanese inspired formula. Yeah. It's what are you guys sipping on? It's got hibiscus in this one. This one's got lemongrass and ginger. And the other one has got music. So three flavors. Just add in some of these nice colors in certain areas. So just kind of near where, it's gone a little bit light again, so I'm gonna mix a bit more. 
Even elkaar. Klein bit together. Just a little bit there. So this is where a lot of the light is going to be hitting this back bit. So I'm avoiding this back. A lot of the lights could be hitting the front of the face. So let's start doing some of them dark colours around the edge here. So kind of around here. And I said, said guys, there's not really any rules to this. You can paint it how you like. If you've got the outline now. It's going to probably look like a dinosaur no matter what at this point. Let's just add a bit more shadow to the underside. Just kind of step back, have a look. So you want most of the shadow kind of down and around this neck here. Not really keen of where, where I put this. Looks a little bit too straight for me. I should have made it a little bit less straight, but it's okay. Hopefully I can paint over it or fix it if I wanted to. No judgment in this room. It's the one rule, guys. I'm not going to cry about it. If you do feel yourself getting frustrated, which does happen, just take a break. Have a little moment to just take a breather. Go top up your drink. Top up your sips, guys. It's very important. That's why we have art and a cheeky sip, just to give you some perspective. So down your tools, have a cheeky sip, have a little walk around the room, look at your art from a distance, and then come back to it. Washing my brush again. I've got a lot of paint clogged up on there, and I want some good brush strokes. So I'm coming back, washing my brush. And I might go in with the fluorescent pink now. Oh, it's got paint everywhere. Plus and pink. I'm going to go straight in. So what colour are you painting yours at home? If you're painting it green, you want this as a nice, maybe vibrant green or light green, depending on what you've done. But you want this to be the main kind of colour that you want to come across. I'm going to use quite a lot of it. And painting. The main part here, down the leg. Really covering it with a lot of paint. Can you hold that quick thing? Keep running out of paint, guys. Who else keeps stopping up? So, guys, did you know that dinosaurs lived during a period of Earth's history called the Mesoic Era, Ooh. which lasted 180 years from approximately 250 to 65 million years ago and had three periods? Can you guys name the three periods? If you can name the three periods, your name's gonna go up on the board. I'm gonna tell you the first period to give you a little, just a little push in the right direction. The Triassic period. The Triassic period, that was the first one. If you can give me the other two, your name is on the board. So the first one is the Triassic period, mainly the other two periods. And your name's on the board. So I'm just adding a lot of that main color here, going on the arms, the body. Down the leg. We're going to bring some lighter bits. So remember, the light's coming from this way. So the light's going to hit the back here, the leg, the side of the leg. It's going to hit the top of the tail. Might put some pink bits in there. There we go. You can overlap some of them other colours as well, as I said. It's okay. Put some pink up here. Really Ooh. let loose with this one. We got some good people in here today. I think we got some paleontologists in today. Whoa. Oh, and over my line. It's okay. There we go. I thought of a bonus question, Joe. Oh. What? It's a bonus one. It's a bonus one, but first got to let the people know who got that last one right. I've got a bonus one. I like it. Here we go. 
acá. Just add in lots of this pink. This is my main colour. Layering it on quite thick. I want a strong base layer here. And always mix in some of the other colours too. You can mix a variety of different colours at this point. Exactly. Loads of different colours if you wanted to. I'd be careful using loads of different, like, um, try and stick within different shades if you can. So, um, you know, if you're going to go for green, maybe stick to yellows um, and blues and greens for that. So a mixture of that. Don't go um, throwing in too much red in there because if you mix a lot of red, blue um, and red, red, blue and green, yellow, <laughs> there we go, got there. If you mix all the primary colours basically, um, you'll get quite a muddy colour coming along. So be careful not to mix too many of the primary colours all together. Comes up with brown. Oh, we got Maria. Anything wrong with brown. Maria but. Mendoza, McElroy, she said, she's got it right, she's got the answer right. Mark Polovnik, he's got it right true. Sophie Sibley, yes, you've got it right too. So I'm gonna tell you the name of those three periods. You ready, Jojo? Yeah. So we got the first one, which I gave you, was the Triassic period. The second was the Jurassic period. And the third was the Creatius period. So three periods. You got it right, but who got it right first? What was it? Tri tri so the Triassic, mm. the Jurassic, and the Cretaceous period. And that's the year that the T-Rex roamed the planet. And that was like 65 million years ago, to be precise. Wow. Who got that right first? Blue Fluminglet. Yes, your name's on the board. Well done, Blue. Well done. Okay. Get some more of that color in there. So guys, you might want to do this really neatly at home. You might not want to do expressive. I hope I said Cretaceous right. Did I say it right? I hope so. Dinosaurs do have the longest, longest names in the world. I know. That's why I can never remember any of them. There we go. It's all coming together it's now. It's coming together now, guys. I want to add some highlights in there now. So I've kind of left a couple of areas where I might want to do a highlight. Oh. It's time to go in with some lighter colours. So let's mix some lighter colours up. You going to the art cam? Yeah, let's go to the art cam. I'm going to mix um, a lighter pink colour. So we're going to zoom into the art cam so hopefully you guys can see a bit closer. So I'm just mixing white and pink together for, for the light colour. Can you see it's gone like a baby pink? Not too pink, uh, not too light, a mid, again, baby pink, but not too baby pink, not like really light. Okay, let's get to the outcome, there we go. There so she is. Just adding my... Cross strokes. Gonna add a little bit down here too, right at the front. Just a little bit of the top there. Put a little bit here. It's a bit, as I said, the light's coming from this way. So the nose is actually going to be a little bit lighter. Painting over that nostril. I need to paint that back in. Hopefully, it's just a few more minutes. It's quite therapeutic to watch, isn't it? Are you guys learning out? If you are, guess what? Have a cheeky sip. Art is another form of mindfulness and meditation, so you'll find that you do get zoned out, and there'll be nothing else in your head apart from the art that you're creating, which is amazing. It really does zen you out. It gets you focused, and it literally just just take your mind off all the stresses and worries that are going on in the world. So that's why we love art. There's so many things you can be doing. Some people like going to the gym. Some people like doing some gardening. Some people like doing some yoga. But art is such a great way to get yourself mindful and get yourself in a creative 
Fina. to this side of the body. Gonna go in with some white in a minute. Or some even lighter pink. You can go in with a couple. Going in with some big brush strokes. Big brushes. Is that the way? So Lulu, the winner of that last one was Blue Flamingo. Blue Flamingo. So it was the Triassic period, the Jurassic period, and the Cretaceous period. So those were the three. I'm going to go for a bonus. I'm going to go for a bonus cheeky question. A bonus question for you guys. I just talked about paleontologists. And me and Josie have been watching a bit of Friends recently. And I want you guys to tell me, who was the famous... Paleontologist in Friends. Friends, the show, who was the paleontologist? Come on, guys. It's an easy question. You've got to get this right. Who was the paleontologist on the Friends show? Someone's going to get this right. Definitely. There's a lot of Friends fans out there. So, as I said, I'm doing these darker colours on the belly here. Blends together quite nicely if your paint is wet. Mixing, you, when you have them three colours on your palette as well, you've got the light, the medium, the dark, you can always just go in with the colour that you need and top up where you need it. And FYI, this character is my favourite character on Friends. I don't know if it's anyone else's favourite character, but it just makes me laugh. It's classic. Some people say say the other character. I'm just going to give the answer away because I'm actually giving you some yeah. hints. But this character is my favourite. Hands down. To give you a hint, you have the famous scene with leather pants. If you haven't got the answer, guys, I can't help you any more than that. Who remembers that scene? The scene with leather pants. That's actually the reason why I've never bought leather trousers. I said pants, like I'm American. <laughs> I meant trousers. <laughs> leather trousers. So yeah, I literally have always wanted leather trousers and I've never got them just because of that scene. I'm like, I don't want to put myself in that situation. So I'm just topping up little bits of space that I missed out. Going with my medium brush. It's got a little bit muddy around where my fingers are, so I need to bring them out a bit. Going with some dark colors there, That's it, give me some, give me some friends quotes. That's it, Gary McAnally. We were on a break. Love it. <laughs> Absolutely love it. So I'm just mixing a lighter colour pink. I'm going to go back to the main cam now. Let's go back to the main cam. Cool. So I've mixed a little lighter pink now. So that's Elliot. Come on. Oh, that's it. Thank you. So I'm mixing a little bit of white, take a little bit of white, tiny bit of pink, so you can use red at home, or if you're if you're painting it green, make it a really um, tiny bit of green in there, make it a really light green, or light blue. Perfect. Have a sip guys, have a cheeky sip. You've always gotta press the sip button. Are you sipping with us, Josie? I am. <laughs> of course you are. Oh, nice. So I'm going in with some brighter white now. 
adding that weight on the bum, on the leg, on the tail, top of the tail. You can see a reference photo, I think it's on the Natural History Museum site or our Instagram page and that will give you um, a reference photo to kind of look at all the time so you know where the light bits are. Might add a little bit of light up here. Nose is a little bit lighter. Definitely this little bit up here. Above the eye. Bit on the belly. Some of you got the classic friends quotes. Pivot! <laughs> that is literally an iconic scene. I think me and Josie just posted we used that, that up, recently, didn't we? Yeah. We did. We popped that onto our feed because it meant so much to what we were doing right now during this lockdown period. We we've, pivot. we've pivoted from in person to online recently, so that's so we've been we saying, the saying word it to each other. Pivot so much. Like we need to pivot. We need to pivot online. We need to pivot and pivot. Pivot. <laughs> So yeah, like I said, we used to do these in-person events all the time throughout London, but since lockdown, we've been doing them virtually. And it's so great to connect to people all around the UK. And it seems like today we've got people from all over the world. It's amazing. Nice. So amazing to see that art and creativity is getting out there and people are still getting creative. What a great medium to get people together and try something different. Why not? Yeah. There we go, guys. I think I've got enough weight in there now. I've done the highlights. You can use bigger brush strokes if you wanted to. You can always go in and add different colours. And obviously tidy things up just a tad bit. Go over certain certain bits. Like I would have to go over my um, fingers a little bit and the outline of the fingers and making sure that the, the shadows around there a little bit neater but I'm sure you're all kind of taking your time at home that's the thing take your time guys we're doing it at a pace so that we can fill it all into the show but if you want to take a little bit longer please feel free to we find it on our Friday night some people stay all the way through the night sipping okay. and painting so if you want to take your time go for it guys don't rush no nope, don't rush Right, okay, I think I'm pretty good with that. You can go in with just some pure white if you wanted to, just to add some highlights to the tip points. Bits that would really receive a lot of lights, so that would be right over this side here. Maybe a little bit more on the tail there. Cool. I'm gonna tell them who got them right. I'm oh. gonna tell them. So guys, all my Ross fans in here today, who got it right? Yeah, I got a bit so the question was, who was the paleontologist on the Friends hit show? And it obviously was Thanks. Ross Geller. Come on. So two of you got it right. One of you said Ross, the other said Ross Geller. So I'm like, feeling generous. Let's put them both up on the Yay. board. So we got Tracy Stevens, you're on the board, and Maria Mendoza McElroy, you're on the board too. Well done. Congratulations, guys. That's it. I'm nearly out of my drink now. I'm going to paint the eye in, um, in my, using my small brush, I'm going to paint it yellow. I think it looks quite good in yellow. It popped out. I like yellow. It really makes it kind of in a mean in a, in a good way. Yeah. I don't think you can have a happy T-Rex. You can, but I like a mean mm. T-Rex. What have you named your, your dinosaur at home, guys? I did a little dot in the middle for the eye. And hopefully your background is dry now and you can start doing this meteor shower. So can you see what I've done there? So I did some flaming kind of meteors that I know that it kind of supposedly all ended their lives, didn't it? Yeah, so no one knows. What ended the Cretaceous extinction? Guys, do you have your theories? Because it was apparently the exact nature of the catch, I can't even say it. Catastrophic event is still open to scientific debate. Yes. But, however, Please. evidence does suggest an asteroid impact was the main culprit. 
and they're saying that volcanic eruptions that caused large-scale climate change may also have been involved, together with more gradual changes to the Earth's climate that happened for many millions of years. So that's what we think. Wow. Bit of cool information there. The same. Seeing as the museum's not open, you can go on their website and find out. So for these, I'm just doing a little circle and then I'm just doing a flick, 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 flick. Flick it out. And they're going down, some, some big, some small. We could do a little small one over here. You don't have to do this, as I said. Get creative with the background. Do some trees, do, do a night sky. You could do like a galaxy with some stars. Yeah, good way, a good nice way of doing um, stars is to get a little bit of, um, you need it kind of wet, wet paint, slightly wet paint or soggy paint. Um, and then you can get your medium brush and you can put a bit of paint on there and you can do some flicks. But yes, definitely need a little bit more water on my brush. But if you get a little bit of water on there, if I get a little bit of wet paint, hopefully this will work. Just bring back the bristles. Oh, she's doing flicks. Can you see that? So this is like a meteor shower. This is a proper meteor shower. I'm getting it all over the laptop now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. So you can get, you can do that. But you could, you could essentially, you could paint it all black and you could do that with white paint. That would look really cool. That looked quite cool. They're saying it was a massive meteorite that hit the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. Mm. 65.5 million years ago that caused the extinction of dinosaurs. So the, the um, damage must still be there then? Yeah, 100%. There's a 112 mile wide crater wow. around the area. So it was a Has massive anybody impact. here seen that? Oh, haven't we got someone in Mexico here tonight? Who's been there? Who's checked it out? It's in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. There's all my... Meteors, and I like to put a little bit of um, white paint in the middle as well. But as I said, guys, just due to time, we're just showing you a little bit of how to do it. But you guys at home, make sure to do this a little bit neater than how I am. Well, not even neater, just take your time with it. <laughs> Okay, you can always put a little bit of dark paint in there too. Well, now you're doing these. I've got a great joke. I've got, I've got a good one. Go I on. think you'll like this one. Right. I think you'll like this. You guys ready for this one? I know it's a bit early to be talking about reindeers and Christmas, but it's a joke. I have to do it, guys. I have to do it. So, question. What's a dinosaur's least favourite reindeer? Christmas is coming. It feels like it's... it's Quicker than ever with this it's whole It's too early. Stop talking about Christmas. It does feel like it's around the corner, right? <laughs> I know. It does feel like it. But if you can tell me what a dinosaur's least favourite reindeer is, the name's on the board, guys. Come on. Okay. What's the time? Okay. So I'm just making sure that this middle, the middle of the mouth is, is dark. You can go in and add that dark purple or even pretty much a black colour. Just make sure it's dark. This bit's going to be really dark because it's inside of the mouth. There's no light getting to it at all. Although it's, it has got its mouth open quite a bit. This little bit of skin. You can actually add a slight bit of colour there so you can distinguish that it's the the skin. While I wait for this, I'm just going to show you how to do these little details and jobs. Josie, can you believe that Gary McAnally yes. has been to Yucatan? He's been to oh, the Yucatan. Love it. How was it, Gary? And leave E says, first time using acrylic pens. Messy, but oh, fun. Oh, yes. I like acrylic pens. 
So can you see the uh, using acrylic paints would be good for, uh, pens for this one. It's easy. So you can do all these nice little detailed dots. I actually used um, a dotting tool. I don't know if I've got my dotting tool. There it is. You can use a dotting tool like this. The hair in my mouth. <laughs> to help <There> <laughs> um, So a dotting tool like this. I think this is used for nails. Um, even Mandela, Mandela patterns and stuff. Um, or alternatively, you could get your brush and you can use the end of the brush and you can start doing these details. So can you see how um, I've done it all around the mouth? You don't have to do this bit, but it looks like the kind of scaly skin. I know that um, T-Rexes have very bumpy, scaly skin. So you can do some details around the eye here. You can do it around the nose. As I said, we have got a reference photo of this up on our Instagram, probably on the um, Super Society as yeah, well. Yeah, we do. So if you want to head to the Super um, Society, you can find pictures of this. And I think we have it in our feed Natural History Instagram. Museum might have it as well. They do. On their website. On their Instagram. And post. on their Instagram. So check that out. Use the reference photo because you can look at it clearly, where all the light bits are, where the dark bits are. Let's do some of these dots, shall we? Back of the brush. Dip into a paint. I've got, can you see? There we go, I'll put it up against the, can you see the tip on that? So I've dipped it into my black paint or purple paint. And you can actually just go around doing little dots. Oh, I'm loving this dot effect. Are you guys liking this? But you're gonna have to keep dipping because it's gone now, look. My and remember, dip. when you dip, have a cheeky sip. Oh, amazing. Oh. So Gary McAnally is actually Judith McAnally. Yay. So she's using her hubby's Gmail today. That's why Gary's popping up. We love you, Judith. We love you. We did um, We did wonder if there was a Mr. McAnally. So Judith, Judith has come back many times to, she's a regular sipper. She's our regular sipper. She's actually got her own beret. She's got her own beret and it makes you feel more artsy. So that's why me and Josie always wear a beret because it relaxes you and makes you think of no judgment. So these little things on her head, they make you feel artistic. And when you pop that on, you just are in a nice artful character. So yeah, if you pop Don't onto our shop. Don't take yourself too seriously. You'll see these berets on there. Yeah, so we've got an art sipper shop, artsippers.com forward slash shop. You can get some art supplies on there. Um, you can get our lovely aprons and magical berries. The magical berries. So guys, you can do your little dotting. Don't forget to do some around the eye. Oh, my dots have turned into little slits. <laughs> it's okay. You can go in with some white paint too. White. You'd want a little bit on your brush. I've got lots. You're Just starting a trend now, Josie. Paula Kiyoko's like, I need to get a beret. Yay. <laughs> you can. And not only that, we've actually got some really sparkly ones, haven't we? We've got bling berets. We've got bling berets. Who doesn't want a bling beret? Who doesn't? So we're working with Grandma Swag. And if you go on our shop, you'll see you've got some special Diamante berets. They're actually really cool. We've been wearing them out. <laughs> not out. even in our art classes. We've just been wearing them out. With our, with our, with our masks. Because they're quite cool. So I'm just doing a little dotted white white bit there too again guys take your time on this one are oh, people starting to name their dinosaurs Liam E said my dinosaurs quote called curfew buster <laughs> it sounds cool now that I start living in a city under curfew from tonight huh? Im imagine yeah. and she's asking us what city imposed this from today we don't know. Liv, let us know. What country is now on curfew? Wow. Yeah, where are you? So adding the dots, dots, dots around the mouth. This is really therapeutic, isn't it, when you're doing this? Yeah, take your time with this one. Don't go as fast as I am. This can be really therapeutic. Or get your dots dot, dot, How many sips have you had today? Dot until. She hasn't got a teeth in. <laughs> uh, what else have I missed? So let's do the teeth. So That's grab it. your small brush. Before you do that, let me tell them who got the last question right. Should I do it? Go for it. So guys, the question was, what is a dinosaur's least favorite reindeer? And of course, it was 
comment. Yay. That's, that's a good one. That even, they made, they made her chuckle. So who got there first? It was Anita, Azzy, Shah. Your name's on the board, Anita. Good luck. It could be you. You could be a winner to all these top prizes. Okay, so I'm doing my teeth. I've actually, you can do them white, but they might not stand out as well on the um, on the yellow background. So um, I've just mixed a little bit of baby pink that I already had on my palette. I had a little bit of baby pink there and I just put a touch of black in there, which has made it a slightly gray pink. And it, I know it sounds weird to be painting the, the teeth this color, but it will make sense a little bit later. So I paint it on this color first. Trust her, Jones. Trust, trust the picture. So, oh, so of course, a lot of my painting is still wet, so you have to be careful with that. But you want to do a couple of little teeth. And can you see how it stands out on the background there? That's good because then when that dries, you can always just go in with a touch of white, put it on the top, and lighten that teeth up. Love that. But you want to go in with just a shade darker than white this time, just so it stands out against the light background. However, if you've painted the background really dark color, you might not need to do this, but it is good to have a kind of two-tone color for the teeth. And you just do, Elliot, if you could show them the teeth. Shall I bring it up? Yeah, you do like little have a look sharp, at this, guys. pointy, sharp kind of pointy, teeth and you do a few at the front and then you get bigger as you kind of get round you get bigger and bigger and then you go smaller again as you go back up and I stop there because that's where that piece of skin is I would not like to be in the way of this T-Rex those teeth are so sharp and can you see how it goes around the other side as well yes do that I'm gonna go back to the um, art cam real quick there we go so you're gonna okay so just do your teeth. Make sure the paint is on the tip of the brush and you've not got too much. And you bring it round and you do all your teeth getting bigger as you come round this way. I've got a teeth, a tooth fact for you, Jojo. Go for it. Guys, did you know the largest tooth of any carnivorous dinosaur? Found to this day is that of a T Rex. Of course it was. And do you know how long it was? 30 it's... centimeters. Whoa, she got it bang on. Really? Yes. That's cool. It was estimated to have been around 30 centimeters long. That's 12 inches when you include the root. It's because I read somewhere that they're as big as bananas. 30 centimeter teeth. Jeez Louise. Can you see that? So, yep, getting a big one here. It's a big banana tea. So, Livia E said that is Antwerp. So, Antwerp are going on another curfew. So, not the whole of Bergen, not yet anyway. Oh, bless you, Liv. Don't forget to do the teeth the other side of the mouth, too. Can you see how I'm going at the other side? They're going to be darker, actually, so put a little bit more black in there. Maria Giuliana Granato. She said, Bello from Argentina. Bello, Bello, Bello. And KG Sambi, she says, my T-Rex is somehow looking very feminine. Yeah. It happens. Why not? What's wrong with a feminine T-Rex? I was just thinking not many, not many T-Rexes do look feminine, actually. And I would always assume that T-Rex is just... They all can't Nails. be. They all but can't they be. Can't be <laughs> well, we painted ours in a nice pink colour, so we tried to mix and blend it up. It's not many times you see a pink T-Rex. So get it on the edge. And you take your time with these teeth. Make them look nice and curly. Oh, I love it. Judith McAnally's called hers Reggie the Raptor. Nice, great name. I think we should go live to a few more people. Let's go live. So should I we think, do it? Yeah, I think we have Joe Best. Joe Best is someone who has joined one of our art service classes before, and she does some amazing artwork, and she usually does it on some different mediums, usually on things like bricks. 
Yes. So, Joe, are you there? Are you there, Joe? We would love to see you. Oh, Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. I'm not Hi, This is Aiden. So this is Aiden's um, art book for this evening. Mom, can I talk to Yes, go and talk to everybody. Talk to us, Aiden. I don't know to it. <laughs> Aiden, <laughs> my son loves doing this session. <laughs> and he's determined that he's going to sell all his artwork. Yes. Yes. I love, I love his, and this another one he's done before kind of thing. Oh, amazing. <laughs> yes, yeah, I absolutely love it. I must say myself, I find this this evening was quite hard for me. I don't know if it's because I had maybe a little bit too many wines. I painted this. I painted this. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, this evening's been a bit hard for me because I've been painting on the bricks. And with the bricks, um, doing the fine details is quite hard kind of thing. Yeah. And I also painted this. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so obviously he's very enthusiastic, yeah. But um, yes, you know what? I absolutely been loving the sessions. Oh, it's really you. been a bit of a lifesaver doing doing it through COVID kind of thing, you know. Oh, and um, cool. I know you guys have been seeing the kind of like. And I also did this. He's got. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, um, like you know, you guys now have been doing some of the stuff on the on on the bricks kind of thing. Yes. And, um, I love doing on the bricks. It's really hard. I must say it's hard because, like I said, you can't do the fine details. No. But, um, you know, if you hey, just... Hey, like... hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, have you always been painting on bricks? Well, you know what? I've never picked up a paintbrush before COVID. No way. Never, That's ever, amazing. ever, ever. Because, um, I don't know, I just always liked it, but I never thought I could draw anything. Like, my, if you ask me to draw a man, it's a stick man, you know? <laughs> but honestly, you guys, you know, doing your painting has been absolutely amazing. I mean, like, even I can do it, <laughs> you know? So it's been really, really brilliant kind of thing. And um, so the whole idea for the bricks is, like, in my garden – Doing the bedding, you know, like sometimes people have the bricks around the bedding kind of thing. Yes, well, yes. that's what I'm going to have. Only this time it's going to be painted. That is because a why paint if you can't keep it? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So you're painting them all for a yes. garden bed. We want to see the final garden with all of those artworks. We would love to see that. Once oh, my God. I would love to show you guys here. Yeah? Be but it's going to take a little while. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just quickly running out to the garden because I know you guys have. Oh, oh we might have oh, broke no. up connection. Oh, connection? no, we were just so close to oh, seeing nice. that garden bed. But guys, this is what we're talking about. Joe Best, she creates artwork on, on bricks. On bricks, although she can't get the fine details. She manages to do a really And she good just job. said that she hasn't been creating since before I, lockdown. Do you know what? We didn't actually know we that. Didn't That's brand know that new news all. to us. So Joe Best puts her, um, her paintings, the pictures of her paintings, mm -hmm. in the Sipper Society. Yes. And uh, we see that on, but I didn't know. So she guys, if you want to see some more of Joe's paintings, join the Sipper Society on Facebook and you'll see. Well, she hopefully is a you see her, 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 all her bricks in there today. Exactly. So Joe, make sure you put it in the Sipper Society. We want to see so your garden see. bed. I think everyone's excited now. Oh, it's so lovely us. to see We're on hooks. And yes, Aiden, thank you for joining us. Thank you. We got a little Picasso in the making. He was, he was so excited about his so thing. Well done. Keep it up. Both it's a family affair. That's what art symbols are. We're trying to create art for the family, for the masses. Everyone is creating. Oh, Any age. He's Any age. So nice work. Should we go to so, one more person? Yeah, one more person. We've got um, Kieran and Cam Cam. Hey, Yay! Joe Sammy. Hello, guys. How are you doing? Um, <laughs> can you hear us? Hi, Eric. Uh, Hi. <laughs> Hello, guys. How are you? Let's have a look. We're so excited to see your artwork, guys. So we've got Kieran and KJ. They come to our classes quite a lot. Whoa, look at that with a scratch mark too. That ah, is what? So good. I love it. You're blending, Kieran. It's so lovely. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so we thought we'd show you guys our wall. Um, hang on, see if I can make this right. Wow. 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 Look at that. 
absolutely incredible. All of them. Stunning work. That They've got an absolute gallery on their wall. You need to sell tickets to come into your place now. <laughs> <laughs> I would buy tickets. Like for 18 pounds, something like that? Yeah, I think that's yeah, about 18 or 18, 18 or 19 is one, I think. So, 18 yeah. or 19. so have you been painting before Art Zippers or before lockdown? So I've been painting before, but Cameron hadn't painted since yeah, he started, not, since he finished school, basically. Yeah. So that, that's, I've not been painting for a good 10 years or so. Well, wow. more than that, maybe, so. Yeah. And look yeah. at your work. Cameron. How do you find yeah. it? Do you feel more confident after your session? Do you feel like you're almost an artiste? <laughs> almost, almost. Um, I, th I think definitely getting, doing the drawing as well definitely gives you more confidence to do yeah. it and then painting afterwards. So obviously, I think definitely been gradually getting better. So that's so, so good. good. And I think. Yeah. 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 We've got a little um, art Instagram, have you not? Did you create an art page during this lockdown period? I did, yeah. So I didn't think I'd ever do it, but I finally started one and it's, it's kicked off quite well. And most of the paintings that we've done with you guys are actually on it. Yeah. Oh, that's so amazing. So let everybody know your let them Instagram know. so everyone can so it, follow you. Artie Flamingo, which is a bit of an odd one, but but yeah, we want oh. Flamingo. So. Yeah. That's a great name. We love Flamingo. So Artie Flamingo, what a great name. Flamingos are our mascot, so yeah, we yeah, love yeah. them. So what a great Thank date so night much, to have. Guys. That's what KJ and Cameron are. So guys, this is what we're talking about. Art brings people together. Yes. Let's have a little sit back. Thank you so much for showing us your work, guys. Exactly. Everybody else, thank you for joining us tonight. We are all done now. We are. I think we've run over, so sorry about that. We apologise. We always try to keep it within a certain time frame. I always get does. a little bit, woo. We get, we get excited. Art just takes you away. <laughs> so make sure, guys, that you donate to the Natural History Museum if yes. you enjoyed today. NHM.ac.uk forward slash. Yes. Donate. <laughs> donate. I was going to say NHM. Oh, donate. <laughs> donate, guys. Yes. Please make sure you open up another tab. You can always go backwards as well if you, you missed can. any little bits. If you need any tips, just ask and them at Tip Society. This is always going to be up on YouTube as well. So if you yeah. want to go back, you can watch this again. Yeah. And we're going to do the competition. Yes. We? Oh, we are. Yes. I forgot about that. So forgot so about let's go and do the competition. So I think Elliot's just putting all the little bits into the hat. So I'll tell you who's on the competition wall. So we have got KJ Sambi. We've got Pink Pelican. We have Michael Anderson, Cameron White. We have Mark Polidnik, Stephen Johnson, Rossi Mori, Lou R, Blue Flaminga, Tracy Stevens, Mariah Mendoza, and Anita Azishar. Okay guys, so this is the opportunity to, for you guys to win some prizes. Like we said at the start of the show, we've got three amazing prizes. Third prize, two tickets. Two tickets. One well, like talk about of the year. Second prize. Uh, two tickets to us. Come see us live. And first, uh, first prize, best prize. It's the greatest prize. Two tickets to either the silent disco or, or the yoga. Namaste. <laughs> nice. <laughs> At the Natural History Museum. It's going to be one of their late events. Yeah. So this so will be amazing. Let's do it. So third prize. Good luck, everyone. If you do win, remember to give us a DM on Instagram so that we can send your details to Natural History Museum and we can get the prizes out to you. If you know anyone that's won and they're still not logged in, make sure that they find out so you can tell them. Here we go. So here's for the third prize. Number five. Number five. Mark Polovnik. Woohoo! Mark, you're in. Three. Amazing. Well done, Mark. You have won two tickets to the Wildlife Photographer of the Year Award. Go. Second prize, let's go. Number 10. Number 10. Tracy Stevens. Tracy Stevens, congratulations. We're going to see you in person, Tracy. <laughs> and this is for the big prize. Here we go. Shake, shake, shake. Who's going to be? Number 11. Number 11. Mariah. Maria Mendoza McElroy. Maria. Is it Maria or Mariah? Maria. Either way, you are the top winner. Oh, so send us your details and we'll get those prizes sent out to you guys. So that is amazing. Thank we are you so, guys. so thankful for you guys for joining us here today on Art Sippers Live. Thank you to the Natural History Museum for having us. We yes, really appreciate that. We do. And please, guys, make sure to follow us. We're still really, really new. We are. A year old. So One we appreciate year. your support and a little follow on Instagram. YouTube, subscribe, YouTube. Facebook. 
Check us out on the Sipper site and Instagram. Give us a cheeky follow. Remember, next event, 26th of August, we're yeah. going to be doing the same thing. The Gentle Giraffe. Gentle Giraffe. <laughs> we saw a little giraffe by we Joe did. Best then. We did. Maybe I'll get some inspiration from her. It's been a Thank great guy. It's been great. We want you guys to send us all of your artwork. Send it to us via the Super Society or via Instagram. It's been emotional. We can't wait to see your rawsome Rexes, guys. And we're going to have a little dance out. We're going to have a little dance out. Let's do it. Oh. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Gary. Thank, Thank you, you Esmeria and Nico. KJ Sambi. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Lee. Thank you, Paula. Thank you, Jackie. And we're going to say, stay safe. And stay creative. That's the Art Sippers way. And we'll see you guys soon. Join us on Friday if you want to join us again for another live art show. Yes, and 7 p.m. later. 26th time. of August for The Gentle Giraffe. Let's dance. Yay. Woo. Sip, sip, hooray.